I know what you're thinking. Hey, aren't you that guy who did that really crappy review on that horror block like a month ago? What brings you back to YouTube? Scrolling around on the internet on, I believe, Facebook or one of the other social media sites, and they popped up this little logo, and it was like Legion of Collectors, uh, a Funko-powered pop box subscription. I was like, mm, I don't need more pops. I don't. I don't need more toys. So I gave it a quick look, look over. Um, seemed up my alley seemed kind of like what i get into it's all dc related uh there was guaranteed one pop figure more vinyl figures a collectible of sorts a t-shirt which i didn't actually i didn't read t-shirt but people are telling me the t-shirt is included because it's a subscription box and that's kind of like their mo now whether you like the shirt or not like this shirt i love this was from the first subscription box i got it was the comic block. I had bought the second or third month that they were doing it. And it was just like, oh, click buy. This looks good. Comics. And it, it, the only thing really out of that whole thing that I ever used or liked was this. So let's crack open this box and see what we have. I had saw the post about it uh, when it first... Oh, mine got a little dinged up, as you see down here. I have tried so very very hard to stay away from Funko um, not saying that they have a bad product I actually love their product I love the pops I love some of their other figures and statues that they have I think that they put out a brilliant thing and that they've, they've made something definitely they've made a name for themselves now and um, they've definitely you know come a long way and in pop culture the pops are huge they pretty much, have, if you know it, or you like it, or if it's something that interests you, there is a pop figure created about it. So they had all these other ones, and, they, and my brother uh, gets the Marvel box, and he was like, oh, it's badass, you know, this one had Deadpool and all this other stuff. And I thought it was a sweet idea that they were doing it by brand, uh, which is easier. When I had the Comic Block, which is the same people that make Nerd Block... Um, unfortunately, the comic block was never there. I did get an email recently that the, they've changed the way that whole subscription went. Um, it's still listed as the same price, but the comic block is now supposedly putting out better quality items, which was my problem with it. I, I felt it was lacking. Um... But enough about that. This is something totally different. This this is ground floor. This is groundbreaking. This is groundy, poundy deliciousness. You got a nice little silhouette picture here of Batfleck in his glory. Um, the DC logo all over it. The Legion of Collectors. Much like the Legion of Doom, but not as sweet. We don't have uh, little rings or Dakota rings. Hopefully, maybe it's in the box. Um, so this is a ground floor one. I had seen a... Uh, it go up on, I believe, some social media where they had posted a picture of this where it was the new pop figure for the Batman vs. Superman movie and it was like, oh, this is an exclusive that you can only get through here or online and blah, 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 blah. So, there was a lot of air quotes there. Here's some more for you. Mm. Anyhow, so I had seen it and I just fought it, fought it, fought it, fought it, fought it, fought it. Didn't want to buy it. Didn't want to subscribe to it. Already had my Horror Block subscription, and I was happy with that. But this was intriguing. Opening the unveiling of it. Oh, that's sweet. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. You can see it's scattered and printed with a whole bunch of DC characters. And it looks like just the Holy Trinity here. We got a little Batman in this armor. We've got some Supermans. We've got Wonder Woman, because as you know, in the upcoming movie, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, these are the three characters that have been teased and talked about and all that nice stuff since day one. They were like, these are going to be the characters. Anyhow, so we'll get into it. We have this nice little welcome. As soon as you open the box... It, 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 there's an extra layer, so obviously, you know, it's a larger box. 
Um, here, size comparison. You see, here's your standard horror block. And then, bloom! This is a good uh, two inches, inch and a half, two inches higher. Um, about the same depth. So it might eventually hold maybe larger collectibles. Or maybe they just make that because you definitely get a pop in this box. Um, so, like, without further ado, the first top two, I have a nice, sweet, new Wonder Woman patch. Um, would I have liked a Batman patch? Uh, duh, but... It's Wonder Woman, and I'm not going to hate on it, because Wonder Woman's a BAMF. And it's got their little logo on the very bottom, which is all right. I guess you need to brand yourself, and you need to get your name out there. We all know. We all know how important that is. So, we have that. The sweet little Superman pin. I am not a Superman fan. I will admit that. I think he is a jerk. He's a space alien with crazy powers because of the sun. And that's not cool in my opinion. But this pin is pretty sweet. Both of these things would look pretty awesome on a battle jacket. If you wanted to make a nerdy battle jacket instead of having it all heavy metalish Or punk rockish. Alrighty. Cracking her open here. First thing we see on the very top. We have a Batman vs Superman shirt. Let's pop her open and check it out. Break out the sombreros because it's going down Lucha Libre style. We have this Spanish version of Batman vs. Superman, kind of like an old-timey boxing poster that you would see hanging around town. Um, it's pretty sweet, actually. And it's, it's showing both of the classic 70s look of both of the characters. And we have, you know, a little something about Metropolis. I cannot read Spanish. I apologize. But I can, you know, notice names like Wayne and Metropolis and Robin. America! So, here we are with the Batman vs. Superman shirt that comes in the collector's box here. And it is a Spanish shirt. And it's awesome. And I'm going to wear it constantly. Getting deeper into the box here kind of a rival to Pops, um, but being something totally different. It's still a vinyl figure, but these ones are more kind of shaped like South Park characters, in my opinion. Um, and as you can see here, they have a green Superman and a bluish looking Aquaman. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. He's got his trident on him. Um, Got some nice details on the back, except for Aquaman's butt. It's just a line. So these are actually pretty sweet. I can pop this open and check. Oh, look at the box. The box is nice. Nice box. Shiny box. Now, out of the box here, we've got our little green Superman, which is kind of reminiscent to the pop that came out. Um, I think it was a Walmart exclusive. It was like a two-pack. It had the Dawn of Justice Superman with a Dawn of Justice Ben Affleck Batman. And they were both this color green where it was like the dark green. And then for their skin tone, they used a lighter green. They kept all of the original details of it, but just kind of put this green shade over everything, um, which is kind of cool. Still, it feels like it's biting off of it because then again, this Aquaman is blue the same way that the pop figure is from the hot topic exclusive pop now is one biting the other is the other one biting the other i don't know i don't know which came first the chicken or this egg um but i have to say this is a really cool looking little guy dorbs is a great name for this company because these little little figures or statues are Adorable. They're fucking... Look at that face. Mm. Hello. This Aquaman is actually really cool. It's kind of growing on me. I like the new style of Aquaman that he's going into. Where I, you know, I would prefer the classic. Because I prefer the classic on all of the comic book heroes. They're little friends. They're like, eh, eh, eh. And it looks like there's two more things in here. Oh, sweet. So we'll start first with the pop. This was kind of the driving factor behind a lot of people purchasing this block. 
armored Batman suit from Dawn of Justice. And as we look back here, you can see all the normal characters that have already been released. Um, each one of these, as you probably have guessed it by now, has a variant of some sort. Um, the Aquaman, like I had mentioned with the Dorb figure, the this Aquaman right here also has that coloring and it is available at Hot Topic. These top two, Batman and Superman, have that color over there, like the green Superman, and I believe are offered as a two-pack from Walmart. I believe it's their exclusive. As you see, the original version of this is solid black, and he's just looking all beefy and angry and no mouth, and no nose, and he is a pop hero. He is number 88. Good number, year I was born. Can't go wrong with a Batman figure number being the year that you're... Ah, uh, never mind. Alrighty, so let's crack him open and check out what's so exclusive about him. Okay, I get it now. The main difference is that this guy comes with a lot of gold accessorized areas. Um, you can see that there's like boot clips for the bottom there. He has his gauntlets on uh, for his legs and for his arms. Both the blade section are gold tipped. He's got gold tipped brass knuckles, even a brass thumb, which that's adorable. I mean, wh who's going to punch somebody with their thumb? Batman would. The utility belt is gold, which that's a genius move. It's always nice to see that the belt doesn't fade in, which if you look at the the packaging, um, they show you the original coloring of everything, and it almost doesn't even look like he has a belt with it being solid black. Um, I've never seen this particular figure out and about. I don't normally go pop hunting, um, but if I do see it out and about, I'd like to take a picture of it to you know, do a little comparison for myself. But the overall figure is solid gray. Um, aside from the little bit of gold here and there and his trim, a nice black border on his eyes and mouth. Give it kind of a shading to make you make know. Ah, man, he's drunk. Can't stand up. Make it know that it, he's wearing a helmet. Okay. And here's his little scuffy cape. Looks pretty nice. Little detail on the back of his ginormous head. He does swivel, much like all the other pops. He is not a bobblehead. Although, if you just shake this, it could probably bobble for you. Look at him go. Look at that bobble. Go home, you drunk. And lastly, what's in the bottom of the box here. Oh, we got a comic book. Sweet. So we have a little Batman Superman story to go along with the rest of our Batman Superman box. That, you know, everything over here has been very movie related aside from, you know, the Wonder Woman patch and the Superman pin. But all these other things are very, very centered around the Batman vs. Superman movie coming out in about like maybe two, three weeks uh, from the time I'm shooting this. Um, so here's a story, most likely about when they work together. Because nine times out of ten, uh, these two work together. They respect each other. They may not like each other. Well, I mean, I think Superman likes everybody, except when he gets all ragey and red-eyed. But Batman, as everyone knows, hates everybody. They do put a good amount of things in here for the price. So you can't fault them. I mean, a pop alone is between 15 and 20 bucks, I think, brand new from a... A normal store I mean you can find them cheaper online but if you go to you know any store that sells these things that's already half the price of this box let alone the t-shirt a t-shirt in an extra large which is my size normally will run you 15 to 35 dollars so right there it's already paying for itself because you're essentially getting this book for free and these little dorbs for free um, and a pin and this cool little patch. This is really growing on me. Well, that was my review of the Legends of Collectors March box. Um, they're smart. They, <laughs> unlike the other subscription box, Horror Block, that I'm subscribed to, um, <laughs> they wait till the end of the month to ship them out. So with those, it'll be like, oh, February 26th, we're shipping it out today. This is your February box. 
and then it gets to you in March when you just say, why don't you just call this the March box? Because it's I'm not getting it the month that it's for. But I guess with logistics, you're paying for it in that month, and they want to collect the money before they put together. But this, this is a March box. I got it in March. Um, very cool box. Very sweet. I really, really, really am digging this little Batman here. He's already on the shelf. Now, bam. Justice is best served. In a pint glass. Thanks for watching my review. If you liked it, please like it with a little click. The thumbs up means a lot to this guy. See what it did there? You get it. My cat's in the background. You can't see her now. <laughs> but if you found this review helpful, if you are thinking yourself about getting into this subscription, I think it's worth it. Um, if you are a nerd or a DC fan or any of these words that people use nowadays to describe liking little pieces of vinyl plastic, that's really what it comes down to. I am Pie Soap. Thank you for watching the Soapbox review, and I will catch you later. Have a good day. Ready? What are you doing? You want to come over and help me later, Kalent? 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 Kalent. Um, and for a while, everyone was like, oh, I got this sweet Star Wars box. It's got Star Wars pops, and it's got this and that, and that rhymed, and that was kind of cool. It's the subscription blah, blah, blah. I decided to change my hat today not giving you not giving you your standard review hat I got this nice little shiny thing here um, and you know if we're, we're talking Batman vs Superman might as well bring in the big A man who's going to be in there my favorite super powered superhero the man the myth the legend the king the god underwater he is called Aquaman but to us mortals is Arthur Curry, much like Tim Curry who played in It, but not as awesome as him.